Today we're working on a historic building that my wife and I bought. Um, we are working on the metal cornice way up there. So I'm going to go up there and show you what's up. We are up on <coughs> the scaffolding about 30 feet high and um, working on restoring a 1906 uh, metal cornice and uh, what we're starting with is just a uh, wire brush to knock off all of the loose all the loose little pieces of metal and uh, old paint chips and then when we're done with that we'll go on to the next step the next thing we're going to do is attempt to uh, prepare rusted surfaces for painting. This is Oslo. It's from Ace Hardware over there across the street and you uh, spray or paint it on and uh, supposedly it converts rust to iron oxide I believe or something like that. I'm just gonna put it into the spray bottle. It's not that much. Alright so um, supposedly it uh, is nasty it etches and bleaches anything that's not metal well it does that to metal too but you don't want it on brick or whatever else or yourself so we're going to just try to see what happens when we spray it okay we're going to start spraying and that's all i'm going to show you because i got to be more careful all right <coughs> all right we're up here on day number two it's been 24 hours which is the minimum time that uh, the spray was supposed to work and most of the play the most of this thing looks pretty good like these were rust streaks I believe that are now turned kind of this whitish um, but there are a few spots like this corner where it was really rusty that still has some spots so we're gonna retreat it one more time see what happens all right we're up here again and we are um, I'm pretty happy with the results. I did a second coat of that Osfo and still have some rust showing through, but I think we're going to call it good and go with a uh, uh, rust uh, cover primer. Um, so now we're just going to try to clean off any dust from the Osfo working and uh, get ready to prime the next couple days. So we started to prime everything. We're gonna work our way down and we're just using uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, clean metal um, primer in hopes that that will be a great uh, kind of base level for bonding. It'll take probably five or six cans of spray paint so it's not pretty cheap, 40 bucks, 50 bucks in primer. All right, we got one coat of primer. I'm just going to hit this little vent on the wall with another coat of primer and we should be done. It was pretty ridiculous to use um, cans of spray paint. My finger uh, barely wants to work anymore from holding down the button. Alright, we're up here again and we are starting the uh, first coat of uh, oil-based enamel. It's uh, called sand tone color to match the windows that are just getting installed. And we just did a little test spot. Be two coats and hopefully it'll look good. You gotta really jab your brushes and all the little all the little corners and whatnot, but it's getting there. We're already got our first coat on about half of it. All right, the first coat of oil-based enamel is completed, except for the ends which I have to go on the outside in the over the edge of the building to get the ends of these things. 
All right, now we are up on the roof. I stuck my paint up on the corner here and I'm gonna have to try to uh, lean out over the edge and see if I can get that piece. All right, that side is done. Now we're gonna hop down and do this next side. Here's what the first coat looks like from across the street. Uh, I think after the second coat goes on, it's gonna look really sharp. All right, we're up here doing the final coat of paint, hopefully. Just hitting all the little spots with the second coat. Uh, be, I feel it's a pretty windy day up here again, but it's nice different angle. I have to uh, hang over the edge and hit uh, this part right there on the edge of the cornice and then on the other side and we'll be done. The last, the last spot on the cornice to do the second coat. Pretty exciting. See you at the bottom. Okay, the cornice is all completed. Uh, and it's in the shade here, but that gives you an idea of the color. We just have to figure out the color on the rest of the building. All right, here's the bonus footage of the paint color that was picked. Uh, we went with kind of a colonial blue with the sand tone windows and uh, cornice. And we just have to work our way down the sides here a little bit farther, but that's what she's going to look like. 